is a way when moments are bleak So look up to the skies, the light is Jesus Christ And all who we see will find Na 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 Dear friends, I am Father Alisha Menezes, Director of the Patriarchal Seminary of Rashol, the major seminary of the Archdiocese of Goa and Daman. The resident staff members of the seminary wish to present a series of wisdom reflections entitled Lucius Sicut Luminari. But before I present, an introduction to the series, let me first share a brief history but a rich history of the seminary and also share about the current process of formation of the seminarians desiring to become diocesan priests. Firstly, a brief look into the history. The Patriarchal Seminary of Rashol is situated in the village of Rashol in Salset, Goa. The village was a ruins of a fortress which the Portuguese took over in 1543 and fortified it into a military base. The Jesuits entered Rashol in 1566 for the purpose of evangelization. In 1574, the College of the Holy Spirit was founded in Margao, attached to the church. However, for security reasons, it was decided to shift the college to Russia. Hence, the foundation stone to build a church and a college was blessed and laid by the Jesuits on 1st November 16. Oh, six. The church and the college were inaugurated on the Vespers of the Solemnity of All Saints, 1st November 1610, and were dedicated to All Saints and was named as All Saints College. The college was a multi-purpose institution, a hospital, an orphanage, a catechetical school for the catechumens, a primary school in Portuguese, a Cockney school for the European missionaries, a moral theology school and a printing press. The press, which was the third in Goa, functioned for almost 60 years in the college. It printed, published, 16 books, the chief ones being Krista Purana in Marathi, Dotrina Krishna in Kokni, and Arti the Lingua Canari in Kokni Grammar. After the canonization of St. Ignatius of Loyola in 1622, the church and the college were dedicated to and named after him. Unfortunately, in 1759, the Jesuits were expelled from Goa. Hence, in 1762, Archbishop Primate Antonio Taveira da Neva Bruni Silveira erected the Archdiocesan Seminary for the formation of diocesan clergy. The seminary was erected under the invocation of the Good Shepherd, Seminario du Bon Pastor, in whose name the internal chapel of the seminary was blessed and whose picture is on the top of the retable on the altar. The Goan Oratorians directed the seminary from 1762 to 1774. In 1781, 
it was entrusted to the congregation of the mission, Vincentians or Lazarists. From 1793, it was once again entrusted to the auditorians. Again, in 1835, all the religious institutes were expelled from, the port from Portugal and from all its territories. The seminary was handed over to the Dyson clergy. In 1886, when Archbishop Antonio Sebastian Valent was bestowed the honorary title of Patriarch of East Indies and Primate of the East, the seminary came to be known as the Patriarchal Seminary of Russia. Swami Vivekananda visited the seminary library in 1892 in order to learn the basic tenets of Christianity and had discussions with the professors before he could proceed for the World Conference of Religions in Chicago. Archbishop Patriarch Wallet reorganized and improved the academic level of the seminary, which consisted of preparatory course, a philosophy course, and a theology course. In 1887, Pope Leo XIII, by his apostolic letter, Cum Venerabilis Frater, granted to the seminary the faculty of bestowing the academic degree of Bachelor in Theology. To accommodate the increasing number of theology students, Archbishop Valent built a two-story new wing with 40 single rooms and a dormitory come study hall called the Camarata for the beginners over which he put up a library hall. For the convenience of the North Goa students, a preparatory course was also started in Mapsa. Students called Eshternush were housed in the nearby cottages of the Rashol Seminary called Kome Saldadish under a prefect of discipline from where they would come to the seminary for mass and classes. With the opening of the minor seminary of Our Lady at Saligaon Pilen in 1952, the preparatory course at Mapsa as well as the Kome Saldadish ceased. In 2002, an academic block with an auditorium was inaugurated. Secondly, the seminary formation. The seminary formation is based on four overall pillars of formation. Human, spiritual, intellectual, pastoral. The human formation helps the seminarian to accept himself and the others with one's strengths and weaknesses, grow in human values and be integrated in the community. The seminarian is helped to grow in human maturity and discipline, as well as healthy relationships by means of psycho-spiritual sessions, as well as community activities like sports, manual work, etc. The goal of this formation is to help the seminarian to be truly human with himself and with others as a future priest. Spiritual formation is aimed at helping the seminarian to grow in personal knowledge and experience of Christ in Christian values and principles. In order that the seminarian may grow in spiritual maturity, emphasis is laid on personal and communitarian prayer, organization and participation in the Eucharist and other liturgical and spiritual exercises. The goal of this formation 
is to help the seminarian to be a person of God experience who lives the values of the gospel, especially of service, detachment, celibacy. Intellectual formation. The seminary academic curriculum includes two-year philosophy course and a three-year theology course. At the end of the third year of theology, the answer a comprehensive exam in theology. The intellectual formation is aimed at helping the seminarian to develop his intellectual abilities. The philosophical subjects help him to perceive, judge and acquire a deeper knowledge of the reality and truth. The theological subjects help him towards a firm foundation in matters of faith as espoused by the church magisterium. The goal of this formation is to help him to be a learned person who can present, explain and defend the teachings of Catholic faith and morals as a future priest. Pastoral formation. After the two-year philosophy course, the seminarians have a year of pastoral praxis in parishes called Regency, during which they individually and in groups under the guidance of the seminary and the respective parish priests are given a foretaste of the future priestly pastoral ministry. Although the seminarians are not involved in pastoral ministry in a full-time manner during the course of their formation period, nevertheless, they are initiated into the various dimensions of pastoral ministry. First and foremost, missionary formation. The rector of the seminary being the coordinator of the Pontifical Mission Organization in, in, in Goa, the seminarians are involved in the World Mission Sunday in the Archdiocese. Mission Academy is held on the occasion of the feast of our Goan patron, St. Joseph Vaz. Mission exposure programs are organized during the summer vacations. Secondly, liturgical formation. The seminarians are given sessions in practical dimension for the animation of liturgy. Thirdly, small Christian communities. The seminarians are given opportunities to get involved in the animation of small Christian communities in the neighboring parishes. Fourthly, Catechetical formation. The seminarians are sent to the parishes for weekend and Sunday ministry so that they may gain experience in imparting catechesis and in other pastoral activities like altar service, etc. Besides, the catechetical unit of Rashol Seminary organizes formation programs for the catechists. Fifthly, charitable formation. The St. Joseph's Conference of the Society of St. Vincent de Paul helps the seminarians to grow in the charitable dimension of their formation. They visit every week the poor, the sick, the elderly in their homes, hospitals, old age homes. The economically poor are also given financial help. Sixthly, prison ministry. A group of seminarians together with the animator visit the prison and organize relevant programs like sports, cultural activities, religious programs for the prisoners and get them involved. Seventh, musical formation. The seminary is known for its famous TTBB Santa Cecilia Choir, started in 
1897 and conducted by the professor of music of the seminary. The seminarians also have the opportunity to learn string, brass, woodwind and other musical instrument. 8. Literary Formation The seminary has got an organization called Literary and Cultural Activities of the Rashal Seminary, LAKAS helps the seminarians to discover and display their various talents. Besides, LAKAS organizes Amchendais, an annual seminar on Govan heritage, wherein the students of the neighboring colleges and schools take part. Ninth, Inter-Religious Dialogue Formation. The seminarians under the guidance of the animator are formed to dialogue with other faiths by organizing seminars and meetings as well as visiting and participating in the festivals of our brothers and sisters of other faiths. The seminarians visit our Hindu families during the Ganesh festival. Every year an inter-religious meeting is organized on Gandhi Jayanti, that is 2nd of October. 10th, formation in sports. The seminarians are motivated to actively engage themselves in sports activities, both indoor and outdoor games. Various tournaments are organized, which culminate in the seminary sports day. 11 eco-friendly formation. The seminarians are initiated towards the love for nature by means of taking care of the gardens, flower vases, vegetable gardens, fruit trees, rice fields, piggery, etc. Garbage poured produced in the seminary is also managed by the seminarians. In the second year of theology, the seminarians receive the initiated ministries of lector and acolyte. In the beginning of the third year of theology, the right of admission to sacred orders is administered to them. At the end of the theology course, they are ordained deacons, after which they do a year-long deacon and ministry Compastoral Enrichment Course at St. Pius X Pastoral Institute, Old Goa, which is followed by the Presbyteral Ordination. Now coming back to our series of Wisdom Reflections, which is entitled Lucius Sicut Luminare. The series is entitled Lucius Sicut Luminare, which is the motto of the seminary and means be lights in order to illuminate. Based on this motto, we have the seminary emblem. On the top, there is the double cross, which is the arch episcopal cross. The star at the center reminds us of Philippians chapter 2 verse 15 Lucetis sicut luminaria in mondo that is shine as lights in the world and the seminary is called to form pastors and missionaries the sacred heart on the left hand reminds that Seminarians and priests should be like unto the heart of Jesus. The book on the right hand side reminds that the ministry and life of the seminarians, priests should be rooted in the Bible and in the magisterium. Finally, the Indian subcontinent inside the globe reminds that priests formed in the seminary of the Archdiocese of Goa need to go far and wide 
to be witnesses of Jesus Christ. It is in this perspective that the resident priest staff of the seminary wish to share their wisdom with others so that being lights, they can enlighten others. There will be 13 lectures delivered by 13 staff members of the Rashal Seminary and telecast by CCR TV at 8 p.m. every Wednesday. Reverend Dr. Victor Ferrand, Professor of Philosophy, will speak on the topic Faith, Reason and Human Life. Reverend Father Maxon Fernandez, Professor of Sacred Scripture, will speak on the tof topic Did Jesus rebuke Mary at the wedding of Cana? from John chapter 2 verse 4, a biblical reflection. Reverend Dr. Nelson Sequeira, Professor of Canon Law, will speak on the topic Law, Life and Love. Reverend Father N.C. Dikuna, Procurator, will speak on the topic Touching Nature, Touching Lives. I myself will be coming again as a professor of systematic theology and will speak on the topic sacrament celebrating faith. Reverend Father Avinash Rabelo, professor of Portuguese, will speak on the topic Catholic education, a priority of the church in Goa. Reverend Dr. Donato Rodriguez, professor of moral theology, will speak on the topic the crucified people care for the migrants. Reverend Father Sukoru Kolaso, Prefect of Dif Discipline, will speak on the topic Christian Discipleship, a call to holiness. Reverend Father George Dias, Professor of Systematic Theology, will speak on the topic Mother Mary in the life and mission of the church. Reverend Father Ashley Alfonso, Spiritual Director will speak on the topic Spirituality of a Diocesan Priest. Reverend Dr. Agnello Pinero, Professor of Philosophy, will speak on the topic Religion and Secularism. Reverend Father Joseph Rodriguez, Prefect of Discipline, will speak on the topic Becoming Light, the Path of Self-Actualization. And finally, Reverend Father Matthew Ribello, Professor of Music, will speak on the topic Revisiting Liturgical Music and its Challenges Today. I hope and pray that these series of lectures will enlighten us all in order to deepen our faith and strengthen our commitment to Christ and the Church. Lucius Sicut Luminare. Since this is the introductory session, I, in the name of the Russell Seminary community, wish to sincerely thank the management and staff of CCR TV for recording and telecasting this series of wisdom reflections. Thank you and God bless us all. Thank mm -hmm. you.